Ever wondered how many silent battles go unnoticed? Suicide is a whispered temptation, inviting the tired, the unwary, the disgraced to enter its quiet door, said psychologist Dr. K. Redfield Jameson. True enough, if you click this video, you're most likely feeling the same way, right? Life can be a roller coaster of emotions and everyone experiences ups and downs. However, there are moments when you may find yourself grappling with thoughts about ending it all. While active suicide ideation is a more overt cry for help, passive suicide ideation often lurks in the shadows, manifesting in subtle signs that may be easily overlooked. It involves thoughts of death without a specific plan or intent to act on those thoughts, making it harder to identify. With that said, let's shed some light on the importance of recognizing and addressing these subtle signs of passive suicide ideation. Neglecting personal care. When was the last time you showered or brushed your teeth? Have you been exercising or eating well-balanced meals the past few weeks? If you've been forgetting to do these things more and more lately, it might be because you're struggling mentally and emotionally, which is disrupting your daily routine and basic ability to function. And neglecting your self-care might already be a silent cry for help, so don't ignore it. Giving away belongings. Ever had a friend who suddenly became a generous giver, almost like Santa Claus in the middle of July? Or maybe you've been having a strong urge lately to just impulsively give away what was once your most prized possessions. It's not about being overly generous or suddenly adopting a minimalist lifestyle. It's a symbolic act, common for those with passive suicide ideation. Giving away belongings is like tying up loose ends, a way of saying, here's something to remember me by, or I don't care about anything anymore. Loss of interest in future plans. Imagine having a conversation with a friend about all your future plans, and it suddenly hits you that you're not excited about anything anymore. Be it that long-awaited getaway, life after graduation, or any other future plans, you realize that goals that once sparked so much enthusiasm in you now have lost their shine this could be a sign that you're silently struggling. Dark books, movies, and music. Ever found yourself getting hooked on dark books, movies, or music? You know, the ones with heavy themes like death, sadness, or suicide. Think all the bright places and dead poet society. Don't get us wrong, there's absolutely nothing wrong with enjoying darker art or fiction. But when these themes hit too close to home, it could be a sign that there's something heavy on your mind. Our preferences often mirror our emotions. So if darker content starts feeling too relatable, it might hint at underlying feelings. It's essential to recognize when your interests become a reflection of what's going on in your heart and mind, potentially indicating passive suicidal ideation. Dark artistic expression. Similarly, if you're a creative person, your passive suicidal ideation may manifest in your artistic expression, whether you're a writer, artist, photographer, or musician. A recurring theme of self-harm and death in these things you create can be a cause for concern. Artistic expression is a powerful outlet, but when it consistently revolves around self-harm and death, it could be your way of reaching out for understanding. Extreme risk-taking behavior. Ever notice someone doing wild stuff out of the blue, like speeding, drunk driving, binge partying, or doing drugs? Sometimes when people are hurting inside, they try extreme things as a sort of escape. It's like their mind is saying, let's break free from this pain. So if you see a friend acting out like this or notice yourself doing it, there might be more going on beneath the surface, such as passive suicidal ideation. So, have you spotted these signs in yourself or someone you know? Please share your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit like if you found this video insightful. Click here to watch our videos on five harmful behaviors that are actually your trauma response and 13 problems only highly sensitive people understand. And subscribe to our channel for more important discussions on mental health. Thanks so much for watching. And in the wise words of Neil Donald Walsh, it is okay to be at a place of struggle. Struggle is just another word for growth. Even the most evolved beings find themselves in a place of struggle now and then, 
In fact, struggle is a sure sign to them that they are expanding. It is their indication of real and important progress. 